we're gonna we're gonna, gonna wash them. Hands. We're gonna wash them at our imaginary sinks right here. Well, all right, so your procedure <laughs> says remove jewelry. Okay, so it says turn on the faucet with a paper towel. But I put that that's optional. I think it's kind of silly turn it on with a paper towel. That's what the curriculum says, but you know, I don't know if you don't want, if you want to. I'm not going to. I'm not going to count off if you don't do that. So, do you need to get your paper towel before you wash your hands? That's one way to do it. I would, but yes. No. So, because then how are you going to get the paper towel? Exactly. Because, uh, <laughs> okay, so adjust the temperature. The water needs to be warm, and okay? you don't want it blazing hot because you don't want to burn yourself, but you don't want it cold because otherwise you're not going to get a good lather. Um, so now wet hands thoroughly. I always have people who will go for the soap first, but go ahead and wet your hands so you can get a lather. So they're not rinsing the soap off afterwards. Apply soap to get a lather. Put the palms of your hands together. All right, we've got our soap. Got them wet. Got our soap. Okay. 10 to 15 seconds. You can probably sing your ABCs while you're scrubbing or sing happy birthday a couple times. Those are good ways to time it. Okay, because I will be timing you when we do this test. So, I'm going to go ahead and myself. And your fingers. Says, Put the palm of one hand on the back of the other hand, so make sure you wash. Remember, these areas were some of the worst, <laughs> right? You could even, you know, circulate them. You just want to make sure you cover all the surfaces. Hot. <laughs> <laughs> I'm making a fire. And then interlace fingers, the right? You want to get between your fingers. One area on a lot of people was, was the thumb. So that was back one hand. Me. Yeah. Um, back the hand. Are you um, going to put this stuff on our hands again? No. Okay. I don't know. I might not think about it. Yeah, oh. yeah. Um, clean the nails. Okay, so the curriculum actually recommends using a nail brush, but who's going to carry around a nail brush? <laughs> not I me. would. I mean, you might, but not very many people are going to carry around a nail brush. I don't care. Oh. So once you get a really good lather going, you take your nails, and you, could, you can't scrub them like, into your other hand. And then I'll get soap right there too. And I'll get soap up underneath. <laughs> it's yeah, it's like, like so it can rinse off. No, I'm right there on the pole. You feel it. Feel your skin. Just start scratching so much. Um. Okay. So it's rinse warm. hands with fingertips pointed downwards. Right. You want to rinse all of that off. Dry hands thoroughly. Okay. Everybody always misses this one, but look from the tips of the fingers to the wrist. Why would you want to do that? So that would make the germs, germs, like, that would make the germs Think about what your wrists look like after we did the glow germ, yeah, right? Yeah. It was, for most people, that was an area that we didn't get very good. So you think if you dry down here, and then you dry up here, you pull all the germs from your arm back up to your fingers that you just washed. So fingertips first, and I usually just go kind of like make my way down. Um, that's all. <laughs> so, anyways, you can do that how you want, but tips and fingers to wrist is the direct is the order to go in. And then throw away your towel. That towel. Turn the faucet off with a dry. Okay, listen. Dry paper towel. Okay, not a wet paper towel that you just used to dry your hands. It needs to be a dry one. So either you can use your paper towel and save a little bit of a dry edge and then get some more. You can get plenty of paper towel from the beginning. I always have people just let it hang. Yeah. Oh, so you don't you don't cut it, you don't tear off all of it. You just leave a little bit. Then you, you can could, or you could not use the whole thing on your hands and leave like the edge of it or something. I'd fail and be like, oh man. <laughs> no, <laughs> well, you need to practice. Figure out what works best for you. You can use your elbow to get the paper towels <laughs> out. That's all. Right. Oh, I feel like you keep your foot there. Like, I'll do my elbow. Like, all these doors at the school, I can like open them with my elbow even. I'm like, I'm not touching. So, <laughs> and then avoid touching the inside of the sink or anything else that might be contaminated. Okay, so those are our 12 steps to washing our hands. That's how you'll be graded on these. Okay, um, but I would suggest that you practice. However, you're gonna do it that day. So we don't have a paper towel. And well, yeah. we will. Well, <laughs> yeah, say more like you grab like a cup towel. Yeah. Or you get Riley grabs me. I'll just grab it. 
Because just that towel there for like a day. Oh, I use it once and I find one. <laughs> <laughs> We have a little rag in, on our sink, and if I like go to brush my teeth, you know, and I like go to wipe my mouth, I'll, I'll like do it in the sink that'll be used again. <laughs> like wash yeah. my face. I, uh, yeah, I do have towels to be washed all the day. And with hot water. And then I brush my face. Anyways, any, any questions on the procedure? We can go. Um, we don't get to in a moment.